Ladies and gentlemen, from Hermosillo, Sonora, Mexico, we are set to go with our next bout of the evening, El Siguiente Combate de la Noche, En Vivo por the Zone, Sky Sports, TV Azteca, y ESPN Deportes. Presentado por Señor Eddie Hearns at Matchroom Boxing, Estados Unidos, y Señor Fernando Beltran Zap for Promotions. Patrocinado por Tecate, the official beer of boxing, JD Sports, Gobierno de Sonora, Pongo Mosle Palamito, Presentan, Construplan Industrial, y Solar Entretenimiento. Los tres jueces son your three judges scoring this contest from ringside, Toro de Mexico, Ernesto Alvarez, Martin Canizales, y Bartolome Ortiz. At the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, el referee, Porfirio Peñato. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Diez Asaltos and Peso Super Welter. Ten rounds of boxing scheduled in the Super Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting into the red corner, Esquina Roja, El Trenador Arnulfo Castillo. He wears the blue trunks, Calzoncillo Azul. Peso Oficial, 69.9 kilos, or 154.1 pounds. Professional record, 33 and 9, 24 por via del knockout. He's got 33 wins, 9 defeats, and 24 big wins coming by way of knockout. Here's the former WBC FICA Box Champion, presentando de Chihuahua, Chihuahua. the ring fighting out of the blue corner in the Asquina Azul. El Trenador Joe Gallagher, his head trainer Joe Gallagher. He wears the white and gold Blanco y Oro. Peso oficial 72.9 kilos for 159.8 pounds. His professional record 27, 12, 1, 15. Ganador por via del nocaut. His professional record, 27 wins, two defeats, one draw, with 15 big wins, coming by way of knockout, fighting out of Liverpool, England. He represents an outstanding family fighting tradition. Here's the former WBO, junior middleweight, campeón del mundo, Liam Mickey Ya recibieron las indicaciones en las esquinas. A los dos, mucho cuidado con los golpes abajo del cinturón, cómo lo manejamos, la nuca. Cuando caigan aquí, se van a tirar golpes. Suerte. Mario Lozano went the distance against both Jermel Charlo and Venus Martirosi. And that's the good news. The bad news Muy is bien. that he lost all 20 combined rounds in those fights. Let's see if he tries to win or tries to survive here against the former junior middleweight champion of the world. Scheduled for 10 rounds of Hermosillo, Mexico. Liam Smith in the white, Lozano in the blue. Lozano is a gritty, cagey fighter that can make it a tough night for anyone, even a former champion if you let him. Type of fighter you don't want to give confidence to. Lozano starting out trying to establish the jab. Smith told us he would love another crack at Munguia if he could get it. He said, listen, Jaime beat me fair and square. I countered him perfectly early. I just ended up making too many mistakes. It won't happen again. Lozano said he had a full camp, sparring 10 rounds. He needs to make Liam Smith miss and counter him effectively. Oh, Lozano going to the body early. The main key for Lozano here is not to get out work. 
at the pressure of Liam Smith. A right hand from Smith and digging the left hook to the body. The man from Liverpool, England, a big right hand. Looking sharp early. Some uppercuts there for Lozano. That'll build his confidence. Nine losses in 42 fights for Mario. Hey, yo, good, good luck. Well, there's a nice crowd now in Hermosillo, and anything that Lozano anything lands is going to be roaring court, cheers for him, so that can always af affect and influence judges. Lovely body shot. Uppercut there from Liam. Good action here to start this fight. Liam Smith is a pressure fighter, but he, he works best when he's fighting behind that jab, like he proved against Sam Eggington. Fighting behind a jab, then that sets up the uppercut. He's also an excellent uppercut puncher. We've seen back-to-back -back knockouts. Both coming from the left hook. What do we have in store for us here? Lozano's never been knocked out. This will be a huge statement for Liam Smith if he can actually take out Mario Lozano tonight. Lozano from Chihuahua, Mexico. The shots there by Lozano for backing up, and that's exactly what he needs to do against Smith because Smith keeps his guard really high. You need a punch around those gloves. Just when you're coming back, you're stepping back once, but you're holding your head there, and you're allowing him to throw that double, triple left hook, the hook that he likes to throw real close. Just it, there's nothing in them. As soon as he comes from that lift left hook out of. Twice he's thrown the right hand there, and it's got nowhere near your side. As soon as it touches there, let it go. Right? Both fighters exchanging combinations. Nothing really landing cleanly in that first round. Good right hand there by Beefy Smith. That was probably the best punch of the round. Liam Smith used to fighting in front of large crowds, 12,000 strong here tonight. He fought in front of 51,000 back in September of 2016 when he faced Canelo Alvarez in Arlington, Texas. Smith, one of Liverpool's Fab Four, the second of the second youngest of the Smith brothers, all four of whom have fought for a world title. Unbeaten Callum is 26 and 0, a possible future opponent for Canelo Alvarez. Stephen, 34, has twice fought for a 130-pound title, and his brother Paul, 36, has fought for a super middleweight title on three separate occasions. The brother Smith, I'll tell you what, two champions and two title challengers. It's not a bad percentage. You can see on the back of his trunks, Liam Smith has the word autism, and that's in support of his younger sister, Holly. So a very tight-knit family, the Smiths, out of Liverpool. Right now, they gotta, right now you want to watch uh, Lozano's head. He's getting a little bit too close. They're both uh, almost clashing heads. Nice right hand. I like that right hand by Smith downstairs. Whenever you're dealing with a fighter that's never been stopped, that's because he could take a big shot upstairs, but downstairs is what you got to concentrate on. Test that midsection of Lozano. Nice jab there for Smith. That's his best weapon, aside from that uppercut. Everything opens up for Smith when he's fighting behind a really smart, stiff, strong jab. And Lozano, he's gritty. He's going to hang in there as long as you give him confidence. He's going to be fighting. He's a cagey, tough fighter. Very durable. Lozano is. Nice uppercut there by Lozano. 
He loves that punch with the left or right hand. They, they both have really good, smart uppercuts. Lozano and Smith do. An exchange there. Smith got a little bit off balance. Smith got off balance because Lozano actually stepped back and made a miss. Smith expected to hit something right there. Lozano came right back with a counter but didn't land. End of round two. Touching the gloves and coming around with body shots. Doing the right thing against guys that keep their earmuffs on like that with their uh, hands high. You just got to touch the gloves. Get points. And that's exactly what Osdano did that first round. Second round, excuse me. What is it going? Lozano started boxing at age oh. 17, and as you talked about, some Mexicans have already had 20 fights by 17. So a late starter by Mexico standards. He's 32 years old now, but did have over 100 amateur fights. And if you were game planning to fight Liam Smith, what would a key to victory be for you? Touching them gloves. Just touching them gloves and using speed. Because he keeps his guard really high, really tight like that. So you're not really going to penetrate with every shot. Swing and a miss. Smith put almost everything he had behind that one. Yeah, he, tried, he tried a catch and counter right there, but he came up. He didn't even hit nothing. <laughs> hit the floor. Forget, <laughs> forget coming up short. He didn't hit nothing, but... Yeah, the key to, to, to fighting uh, guys like Liam Smith that keep their guard up like that, they, they really they really either are all offense or all defense. And when they're all defense, that way you're, that's when you're landing your punches, by just touching them gloves, hitting them arms and the, the elbows, and then getting away before they unleash their combinations. And another thing, if, if you're fighting fighters with... Oh, nice, nice, nice stuff here from Liam Smith. Quick flurry through an uppercut. All of them seem to connect. When you're fighting fighters that keep their guard up like that, dig down to the body, just like Canelo did. Canelo was having success all around with the combination for speed, but the body was the key. Liam now measuring his punches. Both of them connecting, and there's a left hook and this is where Smith is dangerous. When he starts firing the combinations, they come from every angle. From the bottom, from the side, over the top. You said Smith looked as sharp as you'd seen him in his last fight. Is he carrying over here tonight? Well, not so, not, not so much, because against Eggington, he started a aggressively but smart from the first round and to the final round. He was able to stop Eggington in the fifth round right here with Lozano. Lozano's never been stopped, so no, I, I see a, a more careful uh, fighter in Smith. Trying to find a way in here is Smith on the inside. Yeah, he's Lozano gonna, the ropes. He needs to pick apart Lozano. He's not going to get be able to get him out of there with one or two punches. Pick him apart, discourage Lozano with some shots. Just like he's doing right there, punching and dipping. So 
good round there, lovely. Yeah, I think you realise you were jabbing, but he'd come back with two, three, four, and you're jabbing two, three, four. That's how you can see him as right, Nick. It. Once you start putting the shots together, like we've watched him, once you put two, three, four, it starts coming apart. There's the brothers. Callum in the middle. And we asked Liam, hey, how will Callum do against Canelo? He said, I'm not going to predict a victory, but I'll tell you this, my brother's the only guy at 168 that can beat Canelo Alvarez. If anyone can beat Canelo, the superstar, it's going to be Callum, he said. Absolutely. Callum's so big for that 168-pound class. Tall, long, he's got it all. Unbeaten. And a devastating Whoa. power puncher for being so tall and rangy. 26 and 0, and he's 29 years old. Big, her little brother, Callum. Liam Smith, one of the middle children, he's 31. See, right here, I would like to see Liam Smith jab. Like, like I said earlier, he. He fights better when he has an active jab. That sets up everything. He's a pressure fighter, but he's also a smart pressure fighter that comes behind the jab. Then he starts landing those uppercuts that he's really good at throwing from the inside and the out. Coming up next, it is our co-main event of the evening as we go to the heavyweight division. We'll see if Heredia can provide a stiff test for the unbeaten Croatian fighter, Filip Hergovic. Hergovic won his last fight in just seconds of round number one. Nice right hand there by Liam Smith. Tucked his chin down, came over the top of a lazy jab. When you say lazy jab, describe to some of our viewers who may not be familiar with that term. A lazy jab is something that you're not really trying to set nothing up. It's not a pesky jab. It's not a speed jab. It's a, it's, you kind of just throw it out there lethargically, expecting for it to land. And a fighter like Liam Smith, a former champion, he could pick that up and count counter over the top with it. Before you get your hand back to block. Before you get it up to block, absolutely. It's a lazy jab, lethargic. Every time you release any kind of punch, you got to bring it right back to your face or double and triple it up, especially if it's a jab. But if you throw a lazy jab, expect to get countered by a right. I remember Caleb Truex did that to Jermaine Taylor. Taylor threw a little lazy jab out. Truex, who was losing that fight, caught him and dropped him. And it was too late in the game for him to finish him off. And Jermaine Taylor became a, a undisputed middleweight champion with that jab. He had a great fantastic powerful fast jab but he threw it at the same speed and yeah one lazy jab it'll cost you oh right hand connected up for Lozano for once the crowd hoards its approval good body shot there by Lozano also I mean Smith is winning this fight no doubt but Lozano has gotten his shots in And Lozano does have some pop, 33 wins, 24 knockouts. So Liam Smith doesn't want to get hit with those overhand rights and left too often. See Liam Smith coming up short with that right hand, chopping right hand in the inside. Lozano answering back with his own right hand. Good give and take action here. the midway point of this fight. We're in round five, scheduled for 10, Hermosillo, Mexico. 
Two fights left to go, our co-main, and then it's world title time. Juan Francisco Estrada, El Gallo, facing Dwayne Beeman in our main event. But right now, a pretty good one between Liam Smith and Mario Lozano. Through four full rounds, Sergio, how do you have it? I have it. It's a pretty competitive fight. I think Smith, Smith is probably edging it out, but Lozano, he's been landing some good shots. They're, they're evenly matched. They're both landing really, really similar punches. I would like to see Lozano actually dig down more to the body of Liam Smith. Smith has been knocked out to the body when Canelo knocked him out downstairs, so touch him downstairs since he keeps that guard so high. There you go, good. See, if I was a Lozano right there, I would stay in the inside and dig down to Smith's body. Right there, Just keep digging downstairs. Smith is a type of fighter that will keep blocking. As long as you keep throwing, he'll keep blocking, waiting for the time to counter. But if you're not going to give him an opportunity to counter, just keep throwing punches, building those points. But you want to swing around the gloves, do you not, when someone's got that peekaboo defense? Well, there's, there's plenty of things you can do. You can actually uh, throw away a couple, of a couple of punches to come around the gloves, or you can invest in the body, or you can use some foot movement and get angles. I don't think Lozano has that in his arsenal as far as foot movement and feints and getting angles. Oh. Smith with an uppercut followed by right hand. Now Lozano firing back. He's certainly able to get around Lozano's defense. Lozano doesn't want to be against the ropes. This is when Smith is really comfortable. When he has his man against the ropes, he's very creative with his combinations. He comes with, with uppercuts, around the punches. Very, very good inside fighter Liam Smith is. Officially reached the midway point. Start of round six here. Not too much trouble for Smith so far. Another good round, round five for Beefy. Smith's kind of in that no man's land. It seems like he's not quite good enough to beat the Canelos of the world. He, he obviously lost to Jaime Mogia but he disposes of the Mario Lozano's pretty easily. Where do you see his future? Well, I, he hasn't disposed of him yet, but he is in the middle. I mean, he is a former champion. So once a champion, always a champion. So he is a, a championship type fighter, but he has to be matched up properly. And right now, this is, this is a really good matchup. A really good matchup because Mario Lozano is going punch for punch against a former champion, holding his own. an 
nice uppercut. Lozano kind of coming out much busier than he has been in past rounds. Now back in that corner where he does not want to be. I love the fact that he's digging down, down, down there with that stabbing jab and the stabbing right hand, Liam Smith. Lozano's never been knocked out. He could take a shot upstairs, but go downstairs, dig down there. Good combination work from Lozano, who backs Smith off of it. Lozano coming back. Yeah, this is a good round as well. Good round for Lozano. Minute to go. Round six. See that? What Lozano just did right there. He just punched that Liam Smith's gloves. Those are. Not really punishing uh, shots, but they're landing points. And that's exactly what you got to do with fighters like Liam Smith. Just get points. So there's a body shot from Smith. They brought the arms down. Touch them upstairs just to come downstairs. Set up that body shot nicely. You told Smith to go to the body. That's what he did, Sergio. Lozano, perhaps about to be stopped for the first time in his pro career. And what a statement it would be if Liam Smith gets stop. Lozano here. I'll tell you what, Todd, I'm not really liking the body language from Mario Lozano. And like I said earlier, whenever you're dealing with a tough guy, they can take the punches upstairs, dig downstairs to the body. You might have a granite chin, but there's no granite down in the belly. Smith chomping at the bit oh, oh, to get round seven going. Will it be the last round we see in this fight? Smith now has a bullseye to go after. The body of Lozano. Body shots have a good memory. They do not forget the pain. Smith just needs to concentrate downstairs, and this fight will be over. You can see Lozano has his arms down to protect the body. He just made a left hook to the head. But we should protect the body like that. The crowd trying to will Lozano back into this fight. Lozano showing signs of life, but Smith knows he's perhaps oh! one big punch away from ending it, and that was a big punch. He almost lifted Lozano off the campus. This is where Smith is the They have seen enough, and Smith, Liam Smith, picks up win number 28. A fantastic all-around performance from the former junior middleweight world champion. Stopping a fighter that's never been stopped. That's a statement by Liam Smith. His brothers sitting yeah. ringside, they loved what they saw. Lozano put up a tough fight as he always does, but for some reason, Smith had his number tonight. That was a workmanlike performance by Liam Smith, breaking down a tough fighter in Mario Lozano, but ultimately it was that body shot. That body shot opened up everything for Liam Smith. From there, the combination started flowing, and like I said earlier, once this man starts firing on all cylinders, he's very hard to stop. No complaints from that stoppage as Lozano was taking a lot of big, heavy shots. 
particularly that uppercut. How did Lozano not go down from that? And this is where Liam Smith is best. When he's punching from all angles, digging you, you have nowhere to hide. You're digging downstairs from around the gloves, not forgetting the body, that right hand right there. Everything, landing, punching on all cylinders. Just an all-around solid workman-like performance and stoppage by Liam Smith. Well, I asked you where does Liam Smith fit in the landscape of the junior middleweight slash middleweight division after this performance? What would you do with it? Well, you got to keep having performances like these. I mean, when you could keep fighting tough guys like Lozano that have never been stopped. Damas and caballeros, aplauso por favor para dos peleadores. Referee Porfirio Peñato detuve el combate. Tiempo oficial, minuto, dos segundos, séptimo asalto. Por ganador, knockout técnico. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee stops the contest at one minute and two seconds of round number seven. Your winner by technical knockout, Liam B.P. So Beefy Smith, 28-2-1, gets knockout number 16 tonight.